Hello, I'm Fine Forever Upward, and this is part 5 of Sonic Korean Knuckles, the Knuckles Run. You might have noticed that we're, we're playing Sonic and Knuckles, we're not playing Sonic Free. Um, that's because there's actually a special cutscene here. There's a special little cutscene here. Knuckle appears, blows up everything. I mean, no, Knuckles already there, but Bomb appears and blows up something, I don't know. Just blows up, knocks Knuckles back in. Kinda, you actually start in a different spot, but you just start a little bit more ahead in Sonic and Knuckles. And we just got through one of those. Also, the audio might be a little bit odd, it's, it's on my end, but I'm watching this, I'm watching a version without commentary, so, that's, but, I think that's really because I was running a bunch of stuff when I recorded this, so, oh, it was a little bit screwed up. Oh, man. Wow. Perhaps a little bit processor intensive. So if you have anything else running, it kinda just really screws up your emulator. What I'm trying to do is skip here. Because we're uh, getting another special page. And there we go. Go down here. Okay, so match kind of didn't really have much to say because the so I wasn't really speaking there, but there's really not much to say. It's pretty much just knuckles, which I'm not sure who not really much in my nose. Up there is where we started. Thank you. We started down below as uh, knuckles. Really, there's a chunk that's different. That my audio, is, that the audio, the game audio is completely messed up. I, I believe it, it, it gets better in the um, later parts, and I think it's the only part it's really screwed up in. Well, actually, maybe the next Knuckles part. Because, uh, I was, I wasn't recording this, I wasn't recording really the sound, I actually, I didn't, I was, like, I was listening, listening to this route sound. So, that's probably, I didn't really notice this when I was recording it. Recording it. Uh, and... Yeah, I do kind of, I do kind of screw around here. I think I'm trying to get um some special day drinks. Um, I believe I do get six here, one more than I got um in the Sonic in the Sonic and Tails run. Um, I, I still cut out, I still cut out that six best stage, cause um even though we're gonna see it, even though I go to it first in the Knuckles run, um I try to show all, I'm going to show all the special stage. I'm trying to show all the special stages in the Sonic and Tails run. Just trying to keep consistency mainly. Um, okay. Okay. I believe that's the oh, hit Eggman thing. Also, uh, something I mentioned is how they, you know, Sonic Korean Knuckles launch base zone. I believe I mentioned this in, um, Either it's not because it's Sonic and Tails when I mentioned how uh, launch base zone in Sonic 3 is a lot harder than it is in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, it actually isn't the case here with Mushroom Hill Zone. They actually do keep it. It's still, even with all the changes they made to make launch base zone easier, Mushroom Hill Zone is still a big difficulty drop. You can't really, it's not really the same thing. Um, but there's, there's really no difference between Mushroom Hill Zone and Sonic and Knuckles, and Mushroom Hill Zone and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. 
Um, you do start in different places, as both Knuckles and, um, Sonic and Tails. I believe you start, um, past, past, uh, the special, special stage rings that, uh, at the beginning of both starts. They're not there in the Sonic and Knuckles version. Now I'm gonna get at least 4 for 5th. I can't remember. This is 4th. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is 4th, because I get, uh, 2 or Knack 2. Now we're done with that. We've been in this level 5 minutes already. Already. We're coming to the end, too, though. Yeah, there's a little bit of me editing. I, I kind of died to this boss, and I did a little bit of backtracking for kind of no reason. I was kind of looking for a special stage since I died to the boss, so I said kind of. But I didn't really find one, so not really much missed. Get this boss, and we're at the end of Act 1. Also, you might have noticed something that this Floyd Island of the Knuckles Summon is, uh, ridiculously huge. The entire game is, um, on this... On this island. All 14 zones. We had 14. Well, okay, not all 14. There is one exception. Okay, no wait, two exceptions. Uh, that's gonna be the next level, and the final, like, big zone in the game. Well, actually, it's kind of the final zone, anyway. Yeah, it's the final zone. Um, but otherwise, most of the game does take on the take place on the floating island. Um, but, if we ever do get to, uh, Sonic Adventure, or Sonic, no, it doesn't appear in Sonic Adventure 2. Well, yeah, pretty much Sonic Adventure, which is the only game I believe the Floating Island also appears in. You're gonna notice that it's a lot smaller. By a lot smaller, I mean, if you ever played Sonic Adventure, you know these hub worlds. They actually probably know what I'm talking about. The, uh, Floating Island is pretty much just a shrine for the Master, Master Emerald, which is the big, big green thing that we, the big green emerald we see when we go into the special stages in the Sonic and Tails run. Um, but pretty much it's pretty much just a shrine for the uh, Master Emerald. There's n that's it. There's not in this. Well, actually, I believe they try Well, I guess it is a little bit bigger to try to say that it's that there, there's like two zones there, but it's only two zones. It's a lot smaller. That's also the last time we're going to see this floating island. Um, I believe we're trying to... I sure did we... Yeah, I believe we just went to the... Oh no, wait, we missed one. We missed one that I got in... Well, actually, we missed the one... Special stage that, uh, I failed at in the Sonic and Tails run part 5. I feel that, uh, we missed that ring, but we're gonna get, I think we just got another one. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, I got too distracted talking about Sonic Adventure. Uh, but I believe we're coming up to the sixth one of this. The nice thing about Knuckles is that stuff you can glide, um, if you miss, like, a stage you can like climb back up we can climb back up to get to a higher route that you wanted to get to yeah I, okay yep yeah the special stage i'm picking is coming right up here past this guy and special stage number six all over now i believe we're coming up to the boss And besides the buff that we had for, uh, no, 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 no more. Pretty much, there's only really the final boss, Sonic, of, of this, of Knuckles, Knuckles, 
through our run. Please, I'm gonna run when I lose these parts. Um, but the part of the Knuckles run and the boss we fought at, at the end of Marvel, Marvel Garden Act 2 um, are the only two bosses that are changed for uh, Knuckles. While the level design is changed for Knuckles, but otherwise, the bosses are pretty much the same. Not sure why I'm mentioning that now, but I just felt like saying it. Right now. And now we uh, Egg Robo. Which I actually have been talking about much. Pretty much every single boss fight has changed Egg Robo. Step Egg Man. Um, there's gonna be an exception, but I believe it's kind of a glitch. Because they were too lazy to, uh, create another model for the Egg Robo. We'll be fighting, uh, Dr. Eggman in the next level. Boss is exactly the same as, uh, as Sonic. It's a little bit easier with mainly the one throws a spike on the bottom and a spike at the top, mainly because Knuckles does jump lower and we just beat the boss. That's the end of the part. Um, I'm falling further upward, and this was part 5 of Sonic Free and Knuckles, the Knuckles run. Um, I'll see you for part 6, um, soon. Oh, cutscene here. Going to fly in battery. Okay, now it's over. Okay, bye everyone.